Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play series. Here we're on episode 11. We're back at my base here. And we're going to kick off from last time. We were doing some refined storage and some automation last time, which was wonderful. Uh, so we're just going to get kicked off with that. Also, we're going to focus on some more power storage or power generation uh, this episode. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Just going to put my hat back on there and get on with the day. I got some things queued up on the left here. Um, and this should make refined fuel. And that's what I want to make, is some uh, refined fuel. At the moment, we've got lava generating electricity in our magmatic generators. And it's just not enough. It's not what I want. And so uh, I'm going to really uh, put the foot down and make something pretty great, I think, that should generate a lot of power, which we'll put up with our uh, power-hungry... Uh, um, refined storage system. Yes, that is the words. Uh, I didn't look in here last time, and I should have showed you, but in here, it shows you, it's called the controller, and it shows you what's on the network. So we've got a couple of crafters, we've got an ME drive, or a disk drive, sorry, uh, some more crafters, the crafting grid and the pattern grid, and then external storage, importer, cables, that kind of thing. And you can see how much it uses per tick, so it uses 63 FE per tick. That's just, I don't know, that's like 63 elephants per tick. Uh, it uses that much. So um, we have to keep up with that. Now, these are actually doing not too badly. And just looking at that one, it's at zero. But these don't seem to be going down. They managed to keep it up. So that's pretty good. There's going to be some uh, crafting involved here. So, um, might time lapse some of it, not sure. But we need the pulverizer, magma crucible, the uh, the still from thermal expansion. Those are all from thermal expansion. Then we've got the refined fuel, which comes from the still. That will go into the compression dynamo and we'll upgrade them with the, the transportation coils and maybe even store the energy in an energy cell. Now, I was looking for other energy cells, and we do have the one from Mechanism, and we do have one from others as well, Integrated Dynamics. We also have uh, Draconic Evolution, which is very good for energy storage, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, maybe we could get uh, Draconium Chickens, but that's not really uh, where we're at right now. Um, yes, Draconium does come from chickens absolutely insane <laughs> so we need some uh, need another pulverizer uh, maybe two at least we can get them out of here very nice and then we need to make a magma crucible and a, a, a still yes and that's made in the normal kind of way with a machine frame which is tin gear and an iron ingot might even teach this system how to make the tin gear um, because it's quite a simple craft and we just take it downstairs put it in one of our crafters I don't know which one we'll take this one and now we can uh, auto craft gears we'll take 10 please 4, 5, 6, 7 now we could even get some speed upgrades in there to make it faster I don't know how important speed speed upgrades will be. Uh, I have autocraft them, so they might become more useful later. Um, we can definitely speed the system out down here with speed upgrades. So, okie dokie. So we need the two machine frames at least. Now, uh, yeah, we could even teach that how to make the machine frames. Um, that's a very good thing to do. Uh, I think I've got, yes, I've got glass, I've got iron, and I've got tin being produced. So, should be able to make pretty much infinite amount of those. We just need two now. Or maybe we'll make four. There we go, three, four. Oh, auto crafting. Isn't it just amazing? Now, this one might be a little difficult because we need hardened glass, which is... Um, 
or it might be fused glass. Uh, let's see this one. Yeah, it did say fused glass just there. Um, yeah, fused glass, which is in an alloy smeltery, which is from uh, Ender IO, and it's nether quartz. Four nether quartz or a block of nether quartz. Hmm. So we might have to make one of these as well. So this might be split across uh, two episodes because there is quite a lot to do. Or we might just manage to um, get by on one episode. Now this, oh, just iron, okay. And then this is made from either dust or burning bedrock in the overworld. Might do this. Uh, with flint and steel, I think we have one in here. There are quite a lot of um, steps to this. Uh, also stone gears, which are quite easy, and furnaces. Um, do we need anything else? No, I think we're good for now. So I'm going to go and get some grains of infinity. And I'll be right back when I've got them. Okay, so I'm just down here. And I've found some bedrock. And, oh, there you go. Uh, that was a grain of infinity. Might try again for a few more. So you just light the bedrock up like this. And you wait for the fire to go out. And then that should give you grains of infinity. So uh, I'm going to wait here a little longer and just keep lighting fires down here until I've got maybe two more grains of infinity. It kind of takes a long time to get. Uh, so I'll just wait here and I'll be back once I've got two more. Okay, so I'm just coming back home and I've got four grains of infinity. So I think that'll be enough for what I need. Let's have a look. Yeah, that is enough. So we need to make some bars out of iron ingots. Hmm, I can make an iron CAD assembly, CAD assembly. Cool. <laughs> now we need uh, a machine frame. Very nice. And then I think we might need to make two of these. Not sure we have any. And then some stone gear, which is uh, relatively easy to make if we had any sticks. Uh, let's make some, let's get some sticks. Beautiful. Very nice. Two of those. And I think we should have everything. There we go. A simple iron smeltery. Now, um, I think this just needs coal, actually. No, it does actually need power. So uh, we'll take it downstairs. And what were we going to make in it again? Ah, yes. Uh, nether quartz. Uh, we'll take it, uh, take a whole stack of that and just let it cook away. Very nice. That's a little slow. But if you remember what we have, can make it a little faster. <laughs> oh no, not you. This one. Is that pretty slow? Oh, that drains all the energy. It goes faster though. It's probably using all this energy as well. Well, we just need one. So. <laughs> he used all the energy, even the controller switched off. <laughs> Goodness me. Now we do have uh, spectre coils. And what these do is they generate energy. So I think I might just put one on there. And this will keep the controller charged up most of the time. Maybe we could even put one on the back. Like that. Yeah. And then we need some stone to fill the gap. So these are really useful things. And you get them from uh, loot bags. From common and uncommon. Uh, rare and epic ones. So they're really good. A little overpowered, but isn't that the name of the game with this? <laughs> um, just empty out my... Inventory. Let's just get some stone. Patch up the holes in our base. Keep it looking sharp. Okay. Now we've got our glass. We need some... Might need to cook up some netherrack. Maybe eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Oh. These are still uh, accelerating things. Well, uh, thanks. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, we needed two of those, of course. Then I think just after the copper and the reception coil. Yes, it is the reception coil. We should be able to, there we go, magma crucible. Now I am gonna teach the table this. So if we need any more, it's right there. Okay, we've got two of these off the list. We've got the pulverizer off the list and the magma crucible off the list. Also the machine train we've got off the list. We need to make the fractation thing still, a still, uh, like a distillery, I guess. Um, and this uses constant tan gear and nickel gears uh, with some glass and machine frame and a reception coil. So I think we actually have a constant in uh, electrum. It's yellow. Maybe we don't have the constant in. Um, no, how do we make constant in? Um, with molten copper and molten nickel. nickel. Maybe, uh, I think we might be able to make it an induction furnace actually, um, or induction smelter. Yeah, maybe we need to make one of these as well. This just takes copper, tin, a few extra things. We've got all of that. Yeah, uh, no, induction. We need to make an invar, which we have, and a reception coil. And we actually made uh, two copper, so we should be able to make this, I think. There we go. Beautiful. And then we need some more energy cable, I think. There we go. Just gonna take you away. And you. Oop. Beautiful. Now you go out there and yeah, that looks good, actually. Maybe we should um, teach the tablet that as well. Just if we ever desire another one. Ah, yes. Now it was copper and tin, I think, was for constant tin. Uh, yeah, copper, uh, nickel and copper. So let's see, uh, copper and nickel. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. We can speed this up a little. Maybe not so much now. Should be enough for what we need. We need two of these, I think. Beautiful. Can we make the whole thing? No, we need a reception coil. And a nickel gear. There we go. Beautiful. And then all we need is this. This is the last thing we need. Which is the, the thing that actually creates the energy. All right. Take it downstairs, and I'm thinking of making it in here. Now I have an idea for this, um, to make it look nice, and that is to kind of, because it might be dangerous, like power generation is kind of dangerous, isn't it? So it might be nice to uh, keep it behind some glass. There we go. So I think I'm going to dig out this wall and um, and then once I've done that I'll come back and I'll be ready to lay down the first part of the power generation. So uh, enjoy.
Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse just then. Now we have this extra room here, and this is our power generation room. And I think it's kind of cool that we can see stuff happening. And it's not hidden away behind somewhere because, I don't know, in our base we can actually see what's going on. Which is kind of nice. So, I've got all my machines here. And we start with coal from a chicken. Yes, we are using chickens. Uh, we need a roost. Uh, we actually need... We can take four for now. So what will happen is over here we will have four roosts or maybe uh, two just now. I'm not sure actually. Um, there we go, just one. And we will just store the coal in here as like a buffer or something like that. There we go be enough and then what we do is we pulverize the coal we then magma crucible the pulverized coal and then we take the still we actually need another still uh, we we have two stills should be enough bingo okay uh, we can actually go through here uh, this is in a still so this is our final product refined fuel and it's gonna go in a still is the last thing and then the second last one is for another still so we're going to get liquefied coal or uh, I think it's liquefied coal yes pulverized coal magma crucible into liquefied coal and then that takes us back to uh, pulverizing coal up into pulverized coal now we might need a few more basic draws just to help us out Uh, the still goes here and the other one goes here and then we take this here So this is our production line pretty much so coal into refined fuel at the end So it's pretty much all in one side and out the other and then any excess goes up in out in out and up in out and up. We can see these are all looking great. Now these do all need power so um, we need to hook it up to something else first before um, we actually generate power out of this thing. So to do that we're going to need some more leadstone ducts which I think we have in here. And then we'll also need some item ducks as well. Let's have a look. Maybe this can come over here. That just goes there. Oh yeah, fits perfectly. That can go in there and then maybe come down back here. Yeah, there we go. Jump and click. There we go. And then it takes all the way down the back. Very nice. And then all the way along here. You can actually right click this with the wrench and get it to face the right way. Perfect. Now we need some liquid duct to go between these two, these two, and these two, and some item duct to go between these three. So one, two, three item ducts, and one, two, three uh, fluid duct. Uh, item. Oh yes, we got some. I kind of want to use the Ender.io ones, but I don't know if I have Ender.io um, fluid ducts. But in the future I might switch it up for that, because they're so much more versatile. And then we're going to need uh, some
servos. Wonderful. Okay. I think we've got everything. Um, item duct can go at this end. Between these two, these two, and these two. We can just put it there. We're going to have uh, chickens in here. We need to breed more of them. And we'll just extract from all of those. And insert to this one. So I might actually go and get the cold chicken right now. Uh, just so we get a bit of a head start. We'll have to breed some more of these, which is no problem at all. Um, in you go. And that'll slowly fill this bin up with um, coal. There we go. Into the pulverizer. It should make pulverized coal. And then this goes into the magma crucible. Which should make um, fluid. No, I can't remember what it's called. Liquefied coal. That's nice that it uh, automatically pushes it out. So I don't need to put a servo on here actually. And then this creates ethanol or something. Let's see. Oh, naphtha. Naphtha or something. One last thing we will want to do for um, the compression dynamo is upgrade it, but I don't know if I have the right resources yet. Um, so m we might wait on that. We need to get some of uh, the upgrade kits. You can make a creative conversion kit. There's no uh, recipe for it. I'm clicking it, but nothing happening. But for the compression dynamos, we'll want to put some... Uh, augmentations in it, like the auxiliary trans transmission coil, transmission coil. So I think once this gets to 500, oh no, we need water as well. <laughs> My bad, we need some water as well. Okay, I think that's the last thing we're going to do, is just get some water into this. And I'm going to use a fluid... Node, is it called? Yes, it is. This is from Extra Utilities. Wonderful thing. It's really, really great, actually. We need six of you. I'm like 64. That's so good. And then we need some... Let's just go to Extra Utilities. Oh, no. This will do. And I think we need some world upgrades, maybe. Um, we're going to be using more from this mod uh, soon. Uh, the iron drum, definitely. It's where the generator came from. And it has a lot more generators, including a, yeah, a rainbow generator, which we might get into. I've never actually managed to get that. But maybe this time. We'll see. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. It's a huge job, so it takes a couple of episodes. Good to watch, though. Um... Is it in here I'm looking for? Maybe it's not. I think it might be these ones. Um, mining upgrade. Allows mining of cobalt and pumping of water. But we need to get um, an upgrade base which takes one of these resonators. No, I can't. This might take a little longer. I might have to wait until the next episode to do this. Um, yeah, one of you, and then you and, yeah, something like that. Unless I can just blast through it right now. Oh, and a block of coal, I think. Yes. Beautiful. And then I think we also need uh, something to power it. It uses kind of like a world power that you use generators for. You got a water mill generator and all sorts of good things. Uh, where did we go? Up here. And then one of these should just be perfect. Okay, we're missing quite a few things. Um, stone bricks. There we go. That should be enough. And then some golden pressure plates as well. 
We can take eight of those. And take our resonator down. As you can see, it says power grid in the middle of the screen, just below the crosshairs. And um, it there's like a world power that you can generate. And you can use this manual mill to do it. And you just have to right click once. And if you don't look away, then it just turns away. As soon as you look away, it'll stop. Okay, how much are we creating here? Enough? Oh yeah, there we go, upgrade base. We'll just take one now because I want to show you what this does. Then we need a golden pickaxe. Wonderful, and then maybe some pipe and some bucket. Water bucket will do nicely and then maybe another one. Where's iron? There it is. Oh, we've got a pitcher plant here. Wonderful. Okay. So down below here, we're going to need to dig out a little basin for the water to go in. Okay, so I think it's going to go here. So you just place the node down on top. And then the pipe on top. And you add the mining upgrade there. And then you have to add the fluid as well. That's kind of important to add the fluid. Like so. Now this should be getting water. And generating electricity. Or RF. At least. There we go. We can speed this up if we need to. Okay. And there's a few things I need to sort out before the next episode. But uh, I think that's it. We've got a new power line uh, in, in, and uh, I think it's working. So it comes from chickens, of course, because all good things come from chickens. And it turns into coal, and then it goes all the way through into refined fuel over here. And that should be generating 40 RF per tick, which isn't much. We can uh, crank this up so it's creating 600 per tick if we want, but uh, that's for another time. So I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I hope you will come back next time. If you do want to come back next time, hit the subscribe button, and you'll be notified of when the new video is out. If you liked it, hit that like button. Now this helps so much. And if you want to comment anything down below, how your day is going, how my day is going, anything you want, just comment down below. Uh, and I'll see you next time. So, see you next time.